This is an introduction to Access Data's FTK Lite Imager. So within the module you would have been introduced to a number of different uh, forensic tools. But the one that we are going to be using for the remainder of this course is FTK Lite's uh, forensic tool by Access Data. Now part of the reason why we're using it is because it's free. Um, however, it is a powerful tool and uh, allows us to do anything that we want to do uh, as far as this course is concerned. And primarily that is looking at an E01 and accessing the information that's on it. So you'll be able to download the version of FTK either direct from Access Data or via the eForensics website. If you go via the eForensics website, you'll get the uh, you'll get the uh, FTK Lite that we've uploaded. Uh, Access Data will, of course, have their latest version. They all work very similar. So once you have downloaded uh, FTK Lite then you'll need to install it. Uh, because of the nature of the course I'm going to assume that uh, students are able to download and install a program. Uh, this is a technical course and hopefully you'll be able to do that. Once you've installed it you then want to open the program and uh, the first thing you want to do is um, install the E01 or uh, add the evidence item. So go to file and choose add evidence item. You've got a number of sources that you can choose from. So you've got a physical drive, uh, that's if you've got a hard drive or memory card or some form of storage medium uh, that you want to uh, look at. You've got a logical drive, so if you have a partition on that drive that you want to have a look at then you can look at a specific partition image file that's what we're going to be looking at that's the uh, e01 or dd or raw uh, file type and the contents of a folder um, which uh, as it says is um, just a folder view but you won't get uh, certain bits of information uh, unallocated space etc so if we go to image file and then we want to look for the E01. So download the E01 from the eForensics website, which should be the Phantom 4 image. And when you download it, you'll find that you have the E01 and a text file. You just want to look at the E01. The text file is just, uh, just has information in relation to uh, the extraction that was done. Once we've got that, we want to click Finish. And you'll see in the top right hand corner, sorry, top left hand corner, uh, that you've got the E01 um, added to FTK Lite. You want to press on the plus arrow to increase um, the view of what's in the E01. And you'll notice that there is one partition and some unpartitioned space. So for the purpose of this course, we're not going to worry about unpartitioned space. We're just going to look at the details that are on partition one, which uh, we can see is um, under the FAT32 file system and is the DGI fly logs. So we shall increase that by pressing the plus symbol and we'll see that we have unallocated space and root space. So root is um, files that are saved directly to the drive and it's not under any other um, file, file or folder structure. Click plus on that and see we have some system volume information but if we click on root itself then we see the flight logs. There are a number of flight logs and just to give you a little bit of information about FTK uh, which will help you with the assignment. So you've got the name, so that is the file name that we're looking at there. The size of the file. 
the directory type and the uh, modified date. We also have a hex viewer. So if we have a look at, if we click on the E01 and look at the hex viewer, to begin with there's nothing there, or at least it's zeroed out. And that's because of the uh, structure of the E01. But if you scan through the information, actually the E01 is full of data. But of course right now it's not in a particularly easily readable format. If we click on root and click on any one of the flight logs, then what you'll see is that the hex data is looking solely at that um, that file. So all of the information that you see in there is just in that one file. And the same as if we click on another one, you'll notice that the information has changed ever so slightly. So each flight log is different. In relation to FTK, so you have uh, options to be able to uh, look at different files, thumbnails if there are images, which there aren't in this case. And it's worthwhile just having a play around with FTK and seeing how it works. Again, this course isn't designed to um, explain how every software solution works merely to give you an introduction to the main ones that we're using. But there are some very good videos online uh, if you want to learn more about how FTK works. But there we go. So that's just an introduction to FTK, uh, which will help you complete the assignment. Um, and uh, also it's a very good uh, free tool.